everybody. So at the beginning of this pandemic, I was very, very pregnant. And before I knew it, Macon had been hit by COVID-19 like a bomb. And it was time for me to give birth to our son, Waylon. And things were a whole lot different this time than they were with Hank. I was only allowed to have one person with me in the hospital. And that was rough. But what made it even worse was that two very big pieces of my heart were a long, long ways away. And it would be months before my parents ever got to meet Waylon in person. And I was angry and I was frustrated and sad. And I know I'm not the only one who has experienced those kinds of emotions because of this pandemic. I'm sure each of you have experienced it in your own personal way. So today I want to share with you a story about a man who experienced grief and frustration as well. His name is Joseph Scriven, and he lived in Ireland in the early 1800s. Joseph was to be married, but the day before his wedding, his fiance was found dead. Stricken by grief, Joseph decided that he couldn't stay in Ireland anymore, so he decided to leave his mom in Dublin, and he packed up and he moved to Canada. Ten years after moving to Canada, Joseph received word that his mother was in a crisis and that she didn't have long left to live. And so, he didn't have a whole lot of options. He was a really long ways away from where she was at and couldn't get to her quickly. And there was very little that he could do. So he did what he knew how to do best and he wrote her a poem. When his mom received the poem, Mrs. Scriven shared it with one of her friends who then published the poem anonymously. That poem turned into a hymn that spread like wildfire. It said at the very beginning, what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Joseph wasn't a stranger to grief. He wasn't a stranger to the pain that came from being so far away from someone when he needed them and they needed him. He went on to write in that poem, Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Joseph knew that if he tried to deal with that grief on his own, it would cause this needless pain. But if he gave it to Jesus, Jesus would take it and he would walk with him through it, helping him deal with all the emotions that come. Today, I want to encourage you and remind you that you have a friend in heaven. And just like any friend, Jesus is going to love us with devotion and affection and intentionality. But unlike any earthly friend, Jesus rules over everything you might worry about that might wound you, any temptation or frustration. And he invites us to lay all of those things down at the feet of not just a savior, of not just a king, but of a friend. Take it to the Lord in prayer. It's a burden you don't have to carry alone. It's a frustration, it's a temptation that you don't have to bear alone today. Doss Edwards and I are going to lead you in that hymn that Joseph Scriven wrote. What a friend we have in Jesus. If you know it, I encourage you to sing along. If you want I also would encourage you to just listen to the words. They were just as true then as they are now. Let them soak in. If there's a burden that you carry, take it to the Lord in prayer today. Let that peace that transcends all understanding soak in. May you be blessed as you head into your weekend.
Stop.